Well, hello, kids. Welcome to Well Hello Wednesday. I'm your host, Dr. Abby, and today we're going to be doing a science experiment together. As a celebration of Father's Day, one of the materials we're going to be using is shaving cream, a useful tool in every father's kit, and also to celebrate how hot the days have been recently. It's been so hot outside. We're also today going to be making snow. So some materials you're going to need are, of course, shaving cream. You're also going to want some cornstarch. And also, if you'd like to dye your snow, you can get some food coloring as well. So what we're going to do first is getting all our materials together. We're going to have a bowl, a one cup measuring cup, and also a spoon. What we're going to do is we're going to take our cornstarch and we're going to fill up our one cup measuring cup just full of cornstarch. Just put it all right in there. All right, here we go. You may want to ask, oh no, there's a mess. You may want to ask your parents for permission first, um, because if you're anything like me, I'm really messy. And, um, well, I don't think your parents want to clean up your mess. Oh no, I'll clean up my own mess. So we just take the one cup and just put it right there in the bowl. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your shaving cream. Make sure that you shake it up really nice and well. Shake, shake, shake. So that it doesn't come out as a liquid, which I just learned today, fun fact. And then you're gonna take your one cup measuring cup again and just spray it right in there. Ah, uh, yes. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, just pat it down, just like, just, just like that. And then you're just gonna put it into the bowl. Just, oh this, oh this is, oh no. Okay, and um, just like that, um, just like that, we'll just put it all right there. We'll just get a little messy, we'll just use my hands. Um, and then, oh man, my mustache is itching. Is my, is my mustache okay? And now once you've got your ingredients there in the bowl, what you're gonna do is probably wash your hands. Just, I brought towel this time. Now I'm a professional. Now what you're gonna do is take that same spoon and you're just gonna mix it right up there in the bowl. You may need a little help from, oh no. You might need a little help from your parents. Um, I should have probably got Chef Abby to come in here too. She's better at mixing things than I am. And if that's not working for you, which it's not working for me, what you can just do is get a little more messy and just use your hands. Just like, ooh, it's fluffy. Just like that, just get your hands really nice and, oh, it feels like snow. Oh my heavens, that's so cool. Science rocks, kids. I don't know if you guys watch Bill Nye, but he was a cool dude. Alrighty, just just like that. And then it's gonna look almost like um, like sand almost. You kind of feel, you can feel most of the shaving cream in there. Um, oh yeah, that looks lovely. My hands also look just as lovely as the bowl. You're probably gonna want to wash your hands again. Just like, just like that. Um, hopefully a little nicer than what I'm doing. Um, and then once you get your hands all washed off and clean, please use a sink. Don't use paper towel. Um, you can get your food dye, whatever color you want. I like to use green, because, um, I mean, the grass is green outside, so might as well make it a little like summer. Just put like, five drops in there. I think that's fine. I can't count very well. And then just mix it up a little bit more again until you get like a nice, a nice color in there. Let's see. Oh man, that's really neon. More green, please. Alrighty. Make sure you have your parents' permission and supervision when you're doing this. Otherwise, like me, it might not, it might not turn out so well. But here we go. And also, if your mixture, if your mixture is a little, um, kind of, um, really, uh, what is the word for it, coarse almost, um, you might need to add a little bit more shaving cream, or if it's too sticky, you want to add more cornstarch to it. But, uh, once you kind of get the color mix in there, mine is not really green, but that's okay. It's okay to have little accents like that. I think I need a little more shaving cream. Alright. Now once you're all done with that, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna mix it right up into like a little ball, like a snowball, if you will. Little snowball. A 
love that sizzling sound. <laughs> Alrighty. What it should feel like is it should feel really light and fluffy. Like, you know the packed snow, like the best snow that makes snowmen with in winter? Because I know that because I'm Canadian. Um, that's the kind of feel and consistency that you're going to want with go with it. Go with it. So let's see. There's all the shaving cream just stayed on my hand. Oh boy. your hands so why don't you go and pause if you need some time to finish up or if you need to go and wash your hands which I guarantee you probably do you can just stop right now and just go and do that and come right back here now you've got your hands washed and uh, looking a lot better than they were before um, you can clean up your workspace a little bit And um, then you can play with your snow as much as you want. And I'm just going to talk for a little bit. So this last Sunday, Sarah was preaching on a topic that was uh, walking in God's footsteps or walking in the Father's footsteps. Now, while she was talking about that, I was thinking of a little story from my past where um, I actually took um, my shoe and put it into a friend of mine's shoe. And I think, like, this, this was, I think, the exact shoe, actually, that we put into it. We used both my, uh, both my shoes. And what we did was we took my shoe and his shoe and literally just shoved my shoe into it. And then what we did was we laced mine up and then we laced his up and then got me to stand in my own shoe in his shoe. And it actually worked. It was really strange, really bizarre. And um, it was difficult to walk around in it and well, his shoe was clunky because there's two shoes together. Um, but it worked and I was able to walk around and I didn't trip, which was a miracle. Um, and um, I was just thinking about that story and I was thinking, man, I wonder if walking in God's footsteps was just as difficult as that. Um, and I was thinking, yeah, it must be, right? And then as Sarah was talking during her sermon and bringing up some points, some of the things she said was um, to walk in the Father's footsteps, we need to do three things. We need to know the Father or know God. We need to listen to the Father. And we also need to be imitators of the Father. Um, so by knowing God, um, we can learn more about Him by going to Him in, in prayer. And we can be reading the Bible. And we can learn just more about Him from other Christians as well to help us be stronger in our faith. By listening to the Father, sometimes we we just literally need to stand still and listen. Silence. There's actually a verse in the Bible, it's one of my favorite verses actually, from Psalm 46. Um, the Psalm, basically what it's saying is, there is absolute chaos in the world. Mountains are rumbling, falling into the sea, there's tsunamis, there's earthquakes, nations are in turmoil. The world is a mess. Um, but in verse 10, uh, the first part of it, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I've always loved that verse so much. And it tells me that sometimes I just literally need to be still. And just know that God is God and that he's listening to us. And so we should listen to him too. By being imitators of the Father, we need to do some of the things that he did. And do things um, that he asked us to do. One of the things from that that I remember is a verse uh, where it talks about the two greatest commandments. This is what Jesus said. The two greatest commandments is to love the God, is to love your, the Lord your God, 
and also to love your neighbor as yourself. Those were the two main commandments and everything followed, followed after that. All the other laws followed after that. So that's how we can imitate God, to love him and to love others. Now, I'm gonna pray with you guys for this week. So if you guys don't mind just putting your snow aside for the moment, folding your hands and let's close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for today. I thank you for being a wonderful father to all of us. I hope that the kids have a wonder, had a wonderful Father's Day with their dads or father figures. I pray that they continue to be safe during this time and that they would learn to know you, to listen to you, and be imitators of you, Lord. In your name, amen. Well, that's all for this week, guys. So don't forget to clean up afterwards. And um, then once you're done with your snow, you can put it away. I will see you guys on Sunday. You can join us on our Zoom call and I'll be having another story with you guys and we'll do a little activity that you do safely at home as well. And also next Wednesday, I'll be right here again on the Hills Kids Facebook page. So you can check that out as well. See you guys soon. Farewell. <laughs>